So hi guys, uh, thanks for joining me once again and here we are at the start of season 16. Um, going to do the Ferrari Cup this year I think, oh, we're going to try, I'm not sure how that will work out but here we go. Um, and as you can see I'm in the first split, well there's only one split, a uh, bit of uh, kind of um, LFM royalty in there, we've got Adam Galaxy, Stephen Dollymore, uh, so yeah this could be quite interesting. Also got one of my teammates Ian Brooke, so I wonder if I can beat him, who knows, let's just see what happens shall we? It's a pretty good start. I haven't lost too many places. Uh, I'm just going to keep up on the outside here, which will give me the outside line coming in there at the first of the really sharp corners. Um, which uh, is curve one, or curve one, I suppose it's probably called. There's been a bit of a disaster in the background. Who was that? I think that was David Wilson, actually. Um, he's not had a good start. Uh, just a little bump there takes me out, way out to the outside. Probably safest out here. Uh, let's see what happens now. Oh, there's absolute carnage. Oh, there's a gun. <laughs> Squeeze through the middle. That was uh, that was a bit lucky. <laughs> well, there we go. I uh, find myself in 14, so um, not really gained, not really lost. It just uh, survived. I think it's the main aim of the game in the first lap. Campagnano, bit of a tricky corner. I think I've actually got some of the settings a bit wrong. I've got TC up a bit high, I think. Uh, so it's making uh, some of these corners a bit tricky. There's another couple of cars uh, out on the next corner on Sarati. And uh, whoa, whoa, just uh, avoiding again there. I uh, find myself moving up one more place into 13th. Back down into 14th again. Coming into Semaforo, this one's a bit, a bit tricky again. Gets a bit squiddly on there. Coming out the exit here. People left, right, everywhere, all around again. A very sharp corner here, Tormentino, in first gear. And as I say, I haven't really got the hang of this uh, traction control. I think I've set it way too high. And it's just making it a bit of a mess coming out of there. Uh, still in 14th then, as we come behind Tactical Cup. And there's Adam Galaxy, uh, looks like he's running away with this one. I'll just have to try and hang on and see if I can not crash too often. Basically, going to be a case of running. There's another place game. It's going to be another couple of places game. It's going to be really a case of just uh, trying to keep it on the track. And there's David Wilson. He must have had a little uh, bump again. He's a pretty quick driver, uh, but he looks like he's had a couple of incidents already in this race. Uh, we'll just knock it on a couple of laps. I've picked up a couple of freebies. Find myself up in tenth place. I've got Netic just half a second behind me, uh, badgering away there. Um, so I'm just trying to see if I can defend against him. See what I can do. Hopefully, hold him off. Uh, still uh, 16 minutes to go, so uh, I need to see if I can get just a bit, a bit of pace on uh, rather than trying to defend the whole time. His defending's not going to cut it only for 16 minutes, to be roughly honest. Uh, I'm just half a second up my delta here, so a little bit better. If I can just uh, continue that, that'd be quite good. I'm not sure that's going to happen. <laughs> As I say, uh, it's uh, well, not a huge amount of practice in this one, but you know. It's, it's a fun race, I think everybody's uh, pretty much in the same boat. It's the uh, start of the new season, I don't think people are really used to these Ferraris yet. And there's quite a few different setups out there uh, available. Um, I've got one, it's not bad, I know I could do a lot better. And I said, I made a bit of a mistake with the traction control, I think I put it in the wrong setting. Um, and again, the ABS, but I actually don't have a button mapped to that on my machine, so not the best of ideas. Thirty-three point eight. That's uh, my best so far. Uh, that's probably been about pretty much the best I've had in practice as well. So yeah, it's not too bad. Quite happy with that. Uh, still managing to keep Manolo behind me. I think Manolo behind me. Uh, just kind of avoid making huge big mistakes into, into some of these corners. Right side. He's just coming up inside. Yeah, right uh, we'll let him have that. Uh, he's clearly doing a bit quicker than me. So yeah, I'm going to say just just to let him bash on his way. Really. Still top eleven. Happy with that. Uh, if you'd said that at the beginning of this race, I'd be very happy. Let's uh, see if we can just stay there, shall we? Now, we'll just move on to lap four. I find myself with David Wilson right behind me. He's had another mistake again. Um, he's just struggling a bit in this race, actually. He seems to keep, uh, keep dropping it. Uh, not the best of ideas. He is pretty quick, though, so I don't think I'm going to be able to hold him back for long. Oh, what was that? <laughs> and um, yeah, I'll probably just actually let him pass. He's much quicker than me.
obviously at a time when it's convenient to me to do so. Another place place into ninth. Hope he doesn't try and take me up the inside. Oh no, he's trying on the inside. Clear on the right. And he just went into what people call the vortex of danger. And he just clipped my back in there and that's popped him back out of the race again. Uh, he is quick, he'll probably catch up, but uh, you know, uh, that was the best of ideas in there. If we just had a little bit of patience, he'd have got me on the main straight. I'd have him past, I would have let him pass quite happily. Uh, I'll just pop out onto lap seven. Uh, the two guys were right behind me. I let them pass. Uh, there was no point uh, trying to hold them up. And I've got David Wilson behind me once again. He's caught back up. I did say it wouldn't take long, so it's only taken him a couple of laps. Um, and, uh, um, that's not a bad lap for me. That's a 133, 133.1. I'm quite happy with that. Um, as soon as David catches me up here, I'll probably just let him pass me. I say he's much quicker than, than me. You can see he's, you know, he's a second and a half, two seconds faster than I am. No point holding someone like that up. He just has to choose his moments to pass. Clearly not on this call. And there's someone slapped by in the middle of the road once again. And that was Munetic again. So that was the chap that we took me three or four laps ago. Uh, he's just, just dropped it there. I'm sure I get back on track very quickly. In the meantime, I'm just going to let Wilson pass here and that drops me down to 12th place. But you know, better doing that and making it easier for everybody than being a pain in the backside. And with that, we'll just pop it forward a little bit onto lap 9. And I'm just about to be overtaken again by Drapic. Drapic. Puts me down his level place and I've got Minetic again. He's four and a half seconds behind, so I might be able to stay ahead of him. Just six minutes left. Let's see what happens, shall we? Still with the best of 133, that's certainly not going to improve in this lap, I'm well down. So if you're wondering why there's no replays, it's because uh, Content Manager decided that it would eat the replay, um, so I couldn't uh, check the race afterwards, I haven't been able to get any decent replays, so I do apologise do apologize for that, hopefully that'll be back in the next next uh, outing, which is five minutes of the race left to go, uh, I've got Dratch up in front, Minetic behind, a little bit of a gap uh, in both ways. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping I can just hold on to the end here. Don't try to break later, just uh, constantly. I keep listening to I am trying to do everything you tell me, I'm just not really good at it. Um, there's yet another yellow flag, but I think that one's for an old incident. I don't think that one's uh, of any consequence whatsoever. And um, Adam Gallax is still in the lead. Um, and I'm still bringing up 11th place. So yeah, that's oh there is somebody off. Um, and that does that that does pop me up to 10th place. Um, not quite sure who that was, but Anyway, thank you very much, sir. Or madam. Five minutes to go, five minutes left. So, with just five minutes to go, I find myself up in uh, the tenth place, uh, which uh, at the start I would have been very pleased with. Um, so, yeah, happy with tenth place uh, positioning at the moment. Um, not much happening there, so just pop it on forward now to lap number 12. I find myself uh, three minutes behind ninth place. Three minutes? Three seconds behind ninth place. Um, 1.7 seconds uh, behind in front of Minetic uh, in 11th place. Um, so yeah, if I can just hang on to this for a couple of minutes, that would be quite nice. I think we've got one more lap. Um, so yeah, that um, would be quite a nice finish. I'd be very happy with that. Just have to try and do a bit of defending and uh, some not falling off, which is always a good thing to not do. As I'm sure most of you can agree with. Okay, Luke, the next car is Jimenez. Of course, taking that car that badly doesn't really help. Oh, we're down in my delta now, almost a second and a half, which has really given uh, Magnetic a uh, chance to catch right back up on I me. Mean, he's absolutely on the tail now, he's just half a second behind. Uh, there is one lap left to go, I reckon. Yeah, definitely one lap left to go. Uh, can I hold him off with that whole of that lap? <laughs> Just uh, need to hang on and see, won't we? So with just the last lap to go, this is definitely a case of hanging on to uh, the 10th uh, place here and nailing in exits and apexes uh, through Chimene, trying to hold on to the apex there, one and two, a little bit wide there, a little floor it down here, down the straight, down into Campagnano. Uh, yeah, three quarters of a second down on the Delta, so that's not brilliant, and um, Minetic is definitely right on the tail here. If I can just hold on to it here, a bit wide on that again, definitely nerves getting a little bit better, the better of me. Uh, short squeeze down here, as so we come down into Serrati, tried to get the breaking point, and apex, and exit, apex okay, exit a bit poor, he's on the inside, he's not quite made it. 
and there's uh, Jacobin has caught up with us as well. He's right on uh, our tail as well. This is not looking good. Can I hang on to this last couple of lap, last couple of corners? Semaforo was a difficult one and actually there's uh Ducumin has overtaken Munetic that's a, a stroke of good fortune but he's absolutely on the tail now isn't he uh, he's a bit on a bit of a charge his his fastest lap is uh, his last lap was three seconds faster than mine so yeah and it's that I have picked up a ninth place oh that's a bit of hard luck somebody dropping on the final just before the final corner if I could just not do the same that would be very handy just managing to stay ahead of Dukoman in there and yeah taking ninth place okay, well, that's, that's an absolute well turn up for the books uh, really was not expecting that would have been very happy in the top 10 to get ninth yeah that's uh, that's uh, that's interesting so Adam Galaxy won that one quite happily check out his twitch I'll leave a link in the uh, in the comments below. Uh, he's a good guy. His Twitch is fun. He has a number of skill issues. Uh, go and watch him. And thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.